I'm glad you asked, Duck Hill. I won't say anything right now because we have a big surprise today. I'm going to be playing a song about exponents. So, let's get to it. When you see a number with a smaller one on top, you might be wondering what it's called. It's an exponent, an exponent. The smaller number above says how much to multiply. The bigger number gets times that many times. If it's a whole number, multiply by ten. The whole number gets that many zeros in the end. It's an exponent, an exponent. You might be thinking what to say when you try to read a problem. Well, for example, you could say 10 to the power of 2 or 10 to the second power. Also, if your exponent is 2, you'd say squared because 10 times 10 equals 100. And in base 10 blocks, 100 forms a square. And if your exponent is 3, you'd say cubed because 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. And in base 10 blocks, 1,000 is a cube. When multiplying an exponent, you need to multiply the base number that many times. You might be getting tired of writing 5 times 5 times 5. Well, that's when an exponent's on your side. You'd write 5 to the power of 3. And you'd get a product of 125. Exponents aren't easy, but you'll get it in no time. It's an exponent. An exponent. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my Exponents and Powers of 10 song. Um, right now I just want to kind of break down my song because I wasn't able to put everything that I've learned down because writing math words is pretty hard. So now I'm just going to kind of tell what I meant. Um, when I said like the smaller number above says how much to multiply, I meant like if you had 5 to the power of 3, you would do... The 3 is the exponent, and that would be the smaller number, and you do 5 times 5 times 5. So that's when I said the bigger number there gets times that many times. So the smaller number makes the bigger number gets times. So that's what that meant. Um, when my talking part, I pretty much explained what I learned in class. So, yeah, I, it's true what I said about 10 times 10 is 100 and all that cubed and squared stuff. At the end, I was just saying... Um, Another example, like in class we talked about 2 times 2 times 2 and so on. Here I did 5 times 5 times 5. So if you get tired of that, you'd write 5 to the power of 3. And the answer truly is 125. Um, so yeah, that's just another thing. I didn't show how to, at one point I did, but I showed that if you multiply something, it gets to the uh, that many zeros in the end. Um, like 9 times 10 to the power of 3. So 10 to the power of 3 will be 1,000, and 9 times 1,000 is 9,000. So there would be 3 zeros in 9,000 and 3 zeros in 1,000. So that's what I meant there. Um, and there you go. There's my song broken down. I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!